Hi everyone, Jake Templeton here, Paralympic swimmer. This week on my video on tips and drills and advice in relation to swimming is based around the concept of breathing. I've had a couple of people in my uh, Facebook group um, mention and suggest that I do this because they have had problems with their breathing while swimming and it's important to know that this is something that is quite common in uh, a lot of swimmers and if it isn't at the moment they've probably had that uh, issue in the past. So I've just got a few drills here such as this one which is kicking uh, with your head down with the arms extended using a kickboard and just lifting your head to breathe. This is my girlfriend May here just doing the same thing arms by side using a snorkel. So the first thing that I like to look at when it comes to breathing is um, select some drills that will help you to overcome this issue. Um, so I've got a, a few here such as this one, this is just from a different angle so lifting the head to breathe when you need it um, and then just blowing bubbles out and, and focusing on the breath as much as you can. Just by focusing on it you can really get some improvements. So this is May here just doing the same thing again, um, just focusing on the kick and, and, and the breathing with the snorkel. Using training devices and aids can really help with this. Um, using a kickboard can help with that buoyancy as well. Um, and the second one, uh, the second point that I like to think out about with the concept of breathing is lengthening out. Sometimes we become quite short in the water and just by lengthening out, uh, pointing the toes, pointing the fingers and, and, and keeping as, as long in the water as we can, just can try and help to overcome this, uh, this difficulty that many people have. The third thing that I like to think about is don't become tense. Even when many elite swimmers um, try and go fast uh, or, or whatever speed they're going, it's important to not be tense. By being tense and tight can impact on our breathing. Um, and another important thing to note is when it comes to breathing, don't overdo it. Make sure that you exercise within your limits and you don't push yourself too hard with this because um, when, when you get to that point where you're struggling to breathe, you, you must stop. Um, and, and if you're having problems with that, you need to make sure you're exercised with supervision as well. So, um, but it is something that people really struggle with. Um, and just by using the kickboard here um, can help uh, attain that buoyancy, like I said, and you can focus, in, focus on the breathing and also the technique such as the one arm. You can get rid of the kickboard and do the same thing just by holding one arm and out in front and just using the other arm to practice your one arm freestyle. You can do some side kick um, while obviously kicking with the arm out in front and then rotate to the other side with the arm. So just by really slowing it down, you can focus on your technique and your breathing. And, and ultimately when it comes to technique, you, you best practice this while going slow anyway, then you can implement it when going faster. And then you'll get to this point where you'll, you'll be able to breathe and swim effortlessly.